Hey guys, welcome to another computer cryptography tutorial. Today we will be learning about Hill Cipher Encryption, a tutorial by QuickCS. Before starting, I just want you guys to relax. I'll make sure that you guys understand the concept clearly and you won't lose your marks because you didn't know the concept. So don't worry, take a cup of coffee or tea, whatever you prefer, a notebook and a pen and you're all set to go. So let's get started. Before starting with the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. By the end of this video, if you like it, you make sure you like and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. What are we going to learn today? First thing we'll learn is what is Hill Cipher. Then we'll learn what is the formula for Hill Cipher encryption. Then we will learn what are the requirements for encryption with Hill Cipher. And finally, we'll look at an example for encryption with Hill Cipher. All right. So first thing, what is Hill Cipher? Hill Cipher is a polygraphic substitution cipher developed by Lester Hill in year 1929. Okay, but what is polygraphic substitution? Polygraphic substitution means multi-letter substitution. That is, substitution is performed on blocks of letters where the length of the block is specific. For example, we are going to do encryption on block of two letters. That's why we can call it bi-graphic. Okay, bi as in two and graphic. Okay. So what is the formula for encryption in Hill cipher? The formula is KP mod 26. Okay. Where K means key or the encryption key and P means plain text. Okay. Mod 26 means we perform modulo operation on the matrix product of 26. Okay. So it might sound difficult, but it is not at all difficult. It is just a little bit lengthy. That's all. It's very easy guys. Don't worry. When we look at an example, you'll understand it clearly. All right. What are the requirements for encryption with Hill Cipher? First thing that we require is a table which represents all the letters with the respective numbers. For example, A is represented by 0, B by 1, C by 2, D by 3, like that till Z is equal to 25. Okay, so we need this table handy. Now, second thing that we need is to know how to perform matrix multiplication. Third thing that we need is we need to know how to perform mod operation that is modulo operation don't worry we'll learn all these three things in this one example the first thing we have is the table representing 26 letters so is represented by 0 b by 1 c by 2 t by 3 e by 4 like that till z by 25 because there are total 26 letters and we are starting from 0 all right so we have the first requirement ready now let's look at an example. So in this example, what we'll do is we'll encrypt the plain text. Hello friends. Okay. The key that we'll use to encrypt this will be help. Okay. The formula for Hill cipher encryption is KP mod 26. You know this already. So we'll follow all these steps to encrypt our plain text. Hello friends. Okay. So what is the first step? First step is group all the letters of the plain text into group of two. That is we had decided blocks of two letters. Okay. So what is our plain text? Our plain text is hello friends. Okay. And we'll group them into two. So it will be H E L L O F R I E N D S. Okay. So we have grouped them into two. Now next step is step two. Now we'll write them in the matrix form. So H E will be written like this H E, then L L, then O F, then R I, then E N, then D S. Okay. So now we have written them in the matrix form. Now step three. Now we'll convert the letters into their respective numbers like this. HE will be represented by 7, 4. LL will be represented by 11, 11. Now how will we do this? We need the table. Okay. So where is the table? This is our table. So let's do this. 7 represents H and E is represented by 4. So we write 7 and 4. For LL, 11 is representing L. So we write 11, 11. Then for O, F, O is represented by 14 and F is represented by 5. So we write 14, 5. Then comes our R, I. R is represented by 17 and I is represented by 8. So we write 17 and 8. For E, N, we write it as 4 and 13. So here it comes 4 and 13. And finally for D and S, it is represented by 3 and 18. So we write 3 and 18. Now we are done with the step 3. Now what? Step 4. Now we convert even the key in matrix form and then convert those letters into the number forms just like what we did for our plain text. Okay, so what we do? We write from left to right 
one row at a time okay so we write the key as h e l p okay from left to right one row at a time okay and then we convert it into its number form so h is represented by 7 okay e is represented by 4 so we write 7 4 l is represented by 11 and p is represented by 15 okay so 7 4 11 15 this is step 4 now next step 5 now let's encrypt the plain text block by block so we'll take one block at a time encrypt it and then move on to the next block so what is our first block our first block is going to be h e okay because hello friends so first two letters are h e so the formula is k p mod 26 what is our k k is the key that we have in, uh, made it into the number form that is 7 4 11 15 which is help and p is that is plain text is h e which is represented by 7 and 4 now let's do the formula apply the formula k p mod 26 so what we have to do is we have to do the matrix multiplication of these two matrices and then do the module operation on the final product so first we'll do the matrix multiplication now it's very easy to do matrix multiplication you have to multiply the first row with these two and then the second row with these two so how we do it 7 into 7 plus 4 into 4 okay so 7 into 7 plus 4 into 4 forms the first term next is 11 into 7 plus 15 into 4 so 11 into 7 plus 15 into 4 will form the second letter and then we have to perform mod 26 on it so first we'll do the multiplication we'll get 7 into 7 is 49 4 into 4 is 16 11 into 7 is 77 and 15 into 4 is 60 okay and we have to perform mod 26 finally we get 65 and 137 after addition and now we'll perform the mod 26 for mod 26 what is modulo operation modulo operation is basically dividing these numbers with 26 and finding out what is the remainder okay it's as simple as that so when you divide 65 by 26 we get the remainder 13 okay which represents letter n similarly when we divide 136 by 137 by 26 we get the letter h which is represented by number 7 so we have n and h so finally the cipher text or the encrypted text for the block letters h and e are n and h okay so this is how we perform hill cipher encryption now similarly what we'll do is we'll perform the encryption for all the text blocks so for ll we'll get r a for o f we'll get o v for plain text r i we'll get v v for plain text e n we'll get c f as the cipher text for plain text d s we'll get cipher text p r and that's it we are done with this now you might have a doubt in your mind okay wait a second step 6 what is the step 6 finally we have to write it in a sentence form from this matrix form from this matrix form we have to write the cipher text in a sentence form okay so what was our plain text hello friends and when you write down the cipher text we get first thing n h then r a then o v f and p r you can check it out over here first we get is first one n h get R A then we get O V then V V F and then P I so that's what we write in the sentence form okay so this is our cipher text now you might have a doubt in your mind what if the number of letters is odd for example we have to divide them into blocks of two say okay but the number of letters is odd so how will we divide them for example let's take the word hello it will be written as H E L L and there will be only O and it is incomplete so what do we do so what we do is we add in a filler, uh, filler letter okay like x in the blank space over here so for example over here we'll look at this how it will work so we'll write it like this h e l l and o and x so that it is complete matrix and the key again we'll use the same key h e l p that is help which will be represented like this 7 4 11 15 as you know and after matrix multiplication and mod 26 we'll get the plain text h e as n h we have already done how, how it works then for ll we'll get cipher text r a and the new one that is o x which is represented by 4923 okay and key is 7 11 7 4 11 15 so we'll do the matrix multiplication over here again 7 into 14 plus 4 into 23 okay 7 into 14 plus 4 into 23 and 11 into 14 plus 15 into 23 
So this is our matrix multiplication. The answer we will get is 190 and 499. And now we will perform the mod 26 operation. 190 mod 26 is 8 and 499 mod 26 is 5. Hence the cipher text for 8 and 5. 8 is representative of I and 5 is representative of F. Okay. You can check the table and the plain text was hello x and cipher text is n h r a i f that is n h for h e then r a for l l and finally for o x we get i f okay so this is how we do when we have odd number of letters in the plain text so that's it for today guys thank you guys for watching if you like this video make sure you subscribe and share this video with your friends if you have any doubt feel free to ask them in the comment section below thank you guys